So let me begin up with this. I request everyone to please kindly check the notes, uh, what we have provided you for the estimation of the separate folder. And uh, no further, I think, uh, doubts in uh, water side, what we have learned or discussed so far. Right, everyone? Just on one query or just one kind of request for everyone. Just kindly uh, go through once. Uh, so let me just begin up with the session. So in today's session, uh, we are going to start with this estimation. So well, let's begin up with this. So we know this. First of all, let's discuss what is estimation, what is the purpose to be having estimation done, and why estimation is to be done, and where it is being done, and how it comes into picture, and all this we'll be discussing today all in uh, general. Uh, yeah. So now let's begin up with this, the plumbing and firefighting estimation today, and these are the notes, what will be you, you people have the same notes over here. So now, first of all, uh, what is the need of estimation? What exactly is estimation? We'll be discussing this. Now, we know this estimation is nothing but just to estimate something. For example, if I am uh, like uh, taking an uh, uh, admission in one engineering college, I am pretty sure that I need to for sure spend four hours, sorry, four years over here and X, Y, Z semesters, like eight semesters. Yes or no? So wait, this is nothing but once we are entering or once we are doing any kind of service or any kind of thing, we need to know the things behind that, that how much time it will take and all this, then what are the advantages we'll be seeing that later on. Likewise, for example, if you proceed with any kind of construction things over here, so estimation is all around us, honestly speaking. For example, you, you do uh, start your uh, job. So before that, what you're going to do, for example, if you have a job at a uh, 8 a.m. in the morning so I'll be waking up or will be waking up as per what uh, the time from my residence to the office and then I'll be checking the fuel in the automobile and I need to keep in consideration that the traffic jams because it's peak hours early in the morning so that's what estimation is all around us in each and every aspect likewise this is to be related in the building services for example we know this we are into construction and we are into the building services so once we deal with this, we do have a number of services and the biggest service is MEP. That is nothing but again a building service. So we need to estimate. For example, we have done with the design uh, criteria and all this. Now we know this, this is the designing and all this, the light diagram and everything. Now, this is what virtual, not actual. Yes or no? Now, before moving to this, the main intention of the estimation is to get the price that how much this service will be costing. For example, if you talk about the plumbing and firefighting, we know this in the services, we do have pumps, we do have tanks, we do have piping, we do have a number of components like sprinklers, you can say, like here you can say water heaters, a number of things over here, fittings, accessories, a number of things. So what is this? As per that project, what we have designed, it moves on to the estimation department. What they does is they do the extraction of the complete data, what has been shown on the design drawing or SLD drawing or DLD drawing, whatever drawing. But generally it is said as what? Architecture layout or architectural drawing. Because on architectural layout, as we have seen this, on that architectural layout, what we are doing, we are doing the design, isn't it? So this is design drawing. So based on that design drawing, what has been shown, will we are extracting the design, what has been, for example, I do have a number of piping, different, different diameters of the pipe. So I'll be extracting each pipe with respect to their lens. Like example, there is 200 mm of the pipe, and that is 115 meters in the total complete project. So I need to extract that and I need to check. He's saying 150, how much I got. Likewise, we'll be doing the each and everything estimation, single, single thing we need to count. And what I need to do, I need to cost. This will be costing this much. Example, what these things has been shown in this project, X, Y, Z, this will be costing this much. And this is the price, what this service will be costing you. It's clear, everyone? Yes, sir. No problem. Uh, I'll elaborate more. Right now, just give you an example. What is estimation over here? So now let's move on over here. The definition of this estimation, the word estimation here refers to the material takeoff or the quantity takeoff of the entire project for the concern service. Now, concern service refers to, as we know this, uh, its estimation is not only in MEP. It's for the complete building. For example, Mason, they'll be applying for how much cement plaster or how many walls, what is the height of that wall, half inch here, half inch there, how much that will be like flooring, furnitures, everything will be, they'll be doing is what? The 
estimations but we are not bothered about all the services because we are being a mechanical graduate we are only responsible for hvac or plumbing and firefighting in that also in which department we are working for example i'm working as a plumbing and firefighting estimation engineer or only plumbing or only firefighting might be if it's a big company then they might be giving you individual only firefighting or plumbing small company you might be doing all three so now for the concern service that means i am responsible for only one service which i am appointed for now let's move on with this what happens in this estimation departments we do have two departments very first is the tender department and second is the job in hand department now, what do you mean by tender department so first is estimation then job in hand oh, sorry tender department then job in hand department now job tender department is a department in which the projects will be done which are in tender stage now there are two what divisions i said in the estimation department the first department is a tender department now tender department is a department which works only the projects which are in tender stage to understand what a tender department does one should know what is a tender project yes or no yes sir right so now i'll tell you in short or in general tender department or the tender project is nothing but a very fresh release project into the market and the main intention to release that project into the market is just to get the overview cost of the building that is the complete cost of the building it's not only just they are releasing for plumbing and fire fighting it consists of the complete building now in that complete building we they may have n number of services so they'll be getting to construct this building we have this much revenue to be invested but tender has a speciality tender has some specific thing that is nothing but tender has a closing date for example today is 22nd of september i received a project from some xyz participant okay and their main contractor i can say the main contractor is saying that he is participating into this and he is saying that uh, this is your this is tender depart this is tender project right now and this has been go closing on 30th of september so i need to close this project closing in the sense that means i need to give the price to the main contractor on or before 30th of september if i give after that they'll not accept same kind of thing so let me just tell you what is the tender department does so the person who works or the engineer who works in tendering department in the estimation they only work on such projects that is very fresh released now what is the what is the reason as i said you in this department the projects will be done which are in tender stage and will be closed in a specific time and date provided with the main contractor with project final cost so the main aim for the tender stage is to get an overview cost of the project complete building now what is the job in hand department does now we have discussed what is the tender department we know this what they does only they work on the tenders project the job in hand department is one more department in short i'll say job in hand department is a department which is into the execution side so i can say where they have a bunch of one draftman and site engineer and one designer you know this what i'm talking about i'm talking purely about the site i mean the execution side so in short job in hand department is nothing but the guys who executes the work but this too is interrelated how because the project or the cost what we have given in the tender's time or in the tender department time for example we have participated in one project which was in tender and we have quoted the least that means for example there were 20 participants who competed uh, with us and we were among the least to quote for plumbing and fire fighting so maybe it's general thing over here the lower we quote the higher chances of winning the project is it everyone right so for example we awarded the project because we have quoted the least price or the less price among all so that project becomes job in hand that means now the project what we have given the cost at the time of tender stage now we have signed on that and we'll be saying that we'll be executing the project in this price so this job in hand people comes into picture they execute this the work as per the design drawing or appro approved shop drawings so design ifc drawings ifc drawings ifc drawings very good what is ifc anyone issued for construction yes issued for construction yes issued for construction you can say or can i say one more thing shop drawing what is shop drawing detail shop drawing with the 
detail drawing. Detailed. Right, but it's not only the shop drawing what I need to get, I need to get approval. You'll be getting a stamp on that. That is approved short drawing. That is, this is approved. You need to proceed the work as per this drawing. So that site engineer takes and he does the work as per the approved shop drawing. Now, once again, what is the job in hand department does after getting awarded the project in the tender stage? I hope you got this after getting awarded the project in the tender stage and how we got awarded. You know that the project will be forwarded from the tenders department to the projects department. So now the project becomes job in hand to the company. The job in hand exactly refers to the execution or installation of the project. Now, there are some abbreviations uh, what we generally see in uh, the estimation side IFT stands for issued for tender if you see this kind of abbreviation or uh, directly written issued for tender on any drawing that you need to understand the project what you are about to deal up is nothing but a tender project i mean a fresh project which is right now in the tender stage for example i am a senior and i am not working generally i'm saying generally and commonly you'll be seeing juniors working in job in and department or the tenders department tenders department so now in the tenders department, for example, if I do work, then I'll be working only in this projects that is under what IFD that is shoot for tender or the projects which are right now in the tender stage. So if I'm working in job in hand, I'll forward this to the tenders department saying them quote for this because it's a new project and this project is under right now the tender stage. Now let's move on IFC that is issue for construction. Now just what he said by using this they can proceed with the construction or the execution rfi request for information like example there is lack of information missing for example you don't find any details about the pump you don't find some um, stuff which is holding you back to proceed up with the estimation then you need to raise request for information that means i'm requesting for some information which is not available okay which is causing me a hurdle to proceed up with the work fii for your information. Now this example, if my company is an electromechanical company and I got a project, uh, always remember whenever we get any kind of tender or any kind of project, always remember we will be getting the complete project, including HVAC, electrical, plumbing, firefighting, and sometimes we do get furniture layout. Sometimes we get civil layouts also. Anyone seen that? So for example, if I get this and they asked me just to code for the plumbing and for fighting, they don't know that my company is an electromechanical company. So what I'll be doing, I'll be sharing this the same project and to my colleagues in the other department of estimation, that is nothing but HVAC and electrical, I'll be saying that kindly please proceed up with this so that there has been chances that my company might win one more service. Yes, sir. So I'm just sharing the information which is only related to me. I'm requesting my colleagues who are working in different departments in estimation. So they'll be proceeding with the HVAC estimation. One will be proceeding with the electrical estimation in this way. Now, request for quotation, RFQ. We'll be raising this just to get the quotation from the suppliers or the subcontractors. I'm sorry, we are subcontractors. I can say suppliers. Okay, who are suppliers and all this? Request for quotation in short. Remember, we are requesting for some. I mean, nothing but the price of something. What is that? We'll be seeing that later on. Now, letter of intent. Letter of intent refers to intent here refers to the intention. That means in a standardized manner, if you go with, uh, we'll be saying, for example, we have quoted the very uh, best price, the least price among all the participants in the tender stage. So they really got uh, appreciated a work and they call us for a meeting. And they say that you have given the best price for us and I wanted to work you or I wanted to give you this project as a job in hand. But there will be some kind of negotiation and one technique I'm saying you, no one will be giving the best price in the tenders department or in the tender stage of the project. The reason behind this, uh, the moment they get all the prices from XYZ, uh, the, uh, I mean from XYZ companies, they will just do the comparison who is who has given the least price man it's a human nature they try to again uh, bargain so no one will be giving the rock bottom price at that time we'll be having a slightly increased or i'll be increased like five to ten percent or fifteen percent above my selling cost so why because if he ask or she ask i need to reduce it down yes or no yes, yes or no? sir Right. So in this manner, but uh, don't do such thing that uh, you're so high you quoted that you're out of the competition. One more thing. Right. So you need to check that also that you're not quoting so high. So this is uh, letter of intent. What is this? 
intent refers to the intention so whenever we have uh, won the project they'll be saying that they'll be issuing a letter of intent uh, on their letterhead saying that okay we this xyz company uh, is uh, giving this we are intent here to offer the prize for hvac or plumbing and firefighting with xyz services with so much of cost and he, they will be signing over there and we'll be signing over here that will be copy for us and we'll be giving on fax to them that is what letter of end and that's kind of a proof over here so in a standardized manner it's nothing oral it's complete written over here so letter of intent is nothing but a kind of a letter which is confirming that you have won the project it's been mentioned with our company name addressing to our manager everything or my company directly the owner and with the most important thing the price